Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you some tips in Cubase that will allow you to never lose a take. Let's get started. Cubase has some really cool tips up its sleeve when it comes to tracking when you want to do multiple takes and when you're trying out things until you get to the perfect take. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a scenario where you have a track and you want to start arranging. In this case, I'm going to record this beautiful Rhodes piano. This is from Vibrant, one of my favorite electric pianos. And let's say that you've invited a keyboard player or you want to start trying things out yourself. Maybe you want to try out ideas. So let's hit play and I'm going to start improvising. I wait for an opportunity to escape. I don't belong here. So, as you can see, I was trying some things out, but let's say that you brought your favorite keyboard player in the studio and actually what they played was exactly what you needed for this take, exactly what you needed for your production. As you can see, I didn't hit record, so this is gone forever, right? Well, no. Actually, Cubase secretly recorded all these in the background. So, now you can retrieve the entire MIDI performance with one click. Let me show you how. I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to select my track and I'm going to go here. See where it says retrospective recording? I can just hit on that and hit insert as linear recording and check what happens. Just magic. So as you can see, the whole performance, everything that I just played is right there and I can listen to it. I... Wait for an opportunity to escape I don't belong here Oh, I've got plans to take me my So, this is pretty amazing. Don't forget, this option is always there. If you want to use the shortcut for this, it's Shift and the Star key on your numeric keypad. Now, there are some options here in Cubase. If you want, you can go to Edit preferences and you can actually find the retrospective record buffer size in events in the settings as you can see it's in record midi and you can change the buffer size if you want to personally i've never found that i need to change the default setting this records enough unless you're recording for hours and hours and hours then you might just want to hit record, you know? Now, the next tip that I want to show you if you never want to miss a take is that, let's say I've recorded this and I'm very happy with this take, but I want to try some alternative takes and all do something to it. Maybe I want to quantize it. Maybe I want to change the dynamics, change the velocities. What I can do before I start messing with this take that I already like is I can go here and start using track versions. So check what I'm doing here. This works with MIDI, it works with audio, so you can use it for any recording pretty much. Now let's say I want to record a different take with a different vibe. I can go here and say, you know what, I'm going to go for a new version and I can start recording something new. I wait for an opportunity to escape. I don't belong. Very, very different part, but if I want to go back to the original one, I can go here and select version one, and you will see that, there we go, now we have the previous take right there. Now, sometimes I use this function when I want to record bass parts, for example, and I want to try different pickup configurations, so maybe I want to have a jazz bass and just use the neck pickup and then re-record the same part with the bridge pickup and then both pickups together, and then I can switch between them and see which version works better for my track. There's no better way to do this than track versions because you can actually go like this as I play this I wait for an 
so I can seamlessly go back and forth between different versions. So you can imagine, you can try different pedals, different effects, different synth sounds. It's so easy. Now, the other aspect of it is you can try different versions of the same part. So let's say I have this version here. I want to try quantizing the notes, but I want to hear how it sounds. Maybe it doesn't sound so good when I quantize them. So what I can do in this case is I can select this version, duplicate it, and as you can see, now I can go here and say, you know what, I'm going to quantize these ones. And now I have quantized this part. But now if I want to addition to how it sounds without the quantization, it's basically one click away. I can just play it and in real time I can hear it without doing any complex editing. In this case, I prefer the non-quantized version, but you can tell how useful that is. If you want, you can also go here, double click on this name and you can rename it Quantize. And now you know that this version is the quantized version and this is saved within the project. So if you want to come back at a later stage, a later date and check what you've done, then you can do this and you never lose the original recording, which is the most important thing. Now, one last little tip that I want to give you when it comes to recording audio in Cubase is that you can have Cubase record a few seconds before you actually hit record. So let me show you. So let's say I want to record something on this channel. I'm going to hit record and you will see that I have my voiceover right there. Now, if you check this recording, though, you can see that I can extend it to before the actual recording took place. I'm going to hit record and you will see that. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to change the settings for this specific function, you can go to preferences, go to record audio, and then you can change the audio pre-record seconds. By default, it's set to one second, but you can extend it if you want to. And this is a really, really useful feature, especially when you start recording something, you have the attack and you just miss the attack of the first note. You can actually extend this so that you never miss the first note of your recordings. So there you go. With these Cubase tips, I guarantee you it will be very difficult to lose a take from now on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Let us know in the comments down below if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.